watching um uh one of the guys i follow on youtube who does um mostly pokemon black and white updates and well before pokemon black and white were announced he did updates of whatever new pokemon stuff was coming out um he's actually playing super mario galaxy 2 right now uh live on his um uh what do you call it i don't even know i closed the website um, he's, like, broadcasting live right now. He's been doing a 17-hour marathon of the game, um, and you can watch him and his friends as they play it and talk to the people in the chat room, so, um, I was watching that, but, um, I was, uh, decided to do a quick, uh, video today. Um, not only is it the two-week anniversary of my dreads, which would be, uh, kind of stupid to make a video just for that, because I said I was only going to do it, like, every month or every so often, whatever, um... But I did want to show you, like, how they're turning out, but also, um, there's a lot of other stuff going on, so, um, um, I used to play Final Fantasy XI on my laptop, but I didn't like the controls, because the keyboard and the mouse is, like, terrible, so, um, I'm actually going to try playing it on the 360, because then I can play it on my big TV, and, um, and also use my 360 controller, which is hopefully going to be a lot better. So, that's one thing. Um, I also took this out um, from work, Mass Effect 2. Um, I played Mass Effect 1, but never beat it. I took it out from work at one point and played it because I heard it was like really good. Never finished it, um, but um, I've been playing this. It's very similar, um, but I like it a little bit better. Um... They're, they're, like, about on par. I don't know. The, or, like, some of the story that I encountered in the first one, um, and the characters and stuff, but I haven't gotten as far in this one yet, so, so far it's, it's just, um, good, but I, I like both the Mass Effect games, so. Um, so that's what I'm playing right now. Um, but today is Saturday, so Mario Galaxy 2, I'll have my copy by tomorrow morning, so, um, then obviously I'm going to be playing that for a while. Um, it seems like from what I would, from what I've been watching from um, him play on uh, his webcast thingy, uh, it seems really awesome. I like the levels and stuff I've been seeing so far. Um, but yeah, it's Saturday right now, and I have my first day off in like forever. So um, it, I haven't like seen the light of day uh, other than you know through my store windows um, in forever. But um, just to give you a quick quick uh, rundown of like how my dreads are doing as you can see um right now when i move around um they move a lot easier now which means they're not so um so tightly held up here pretty much all the rubber bands have um disintegrated and fallen out of my hair at this point um and my dreads are starting to look a little bit more solid a little bit more like actual dreads uh like i said before when i do put them up or you know uh, touch them or whatever, and then let go, they do kind of stick out like that, and I always have to kind of, you know, curl them to the shape of my head again. Um, I know that'll fix eventually, but still doing that at this point. Um, they're starting to get that, like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, when you look at them, they look a little bit more, um, more like loops of hair. I don't know. They, they, do, they don't look as back combed anymore. They look more like, I don't know, dreads that I've seen people have. So that obviously is a good sign. Um, my roots are like, I posted pictures on MySpace. And as you can see, I have like just tons and tons of clumps of loose hair at the top. And uh, people have been saying like, oh, you need to use dread wax and you need to do this and that. But um, I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys I'm not going to do anything to my hair. I'm just going to leave it alone and see what happens because that's kind of like why I'm doing this. Not just for how it looks, but um, for like the journey and stuff and to see how it turns out if I just let it do its own thing. So I appreciate the um, the enthusiasm and the comments and the and the, the help offers and stuff, but I'm going to just let this play out. So um, there are a few of them that are like kind of, uh, they look just as thin as all the other ones, but like they feel a lot tighter. I don't know if that's because they were back home to tighter or what, but this one for example is like super super tight 
Um, the ones in the back are super tight. And I think the tightest one is like the one in the very back. And I don't know if you can see that there on the camera, but there's a little bead. There you go. Now you can see the glare on it. There's a little bead in the back of my hair. Um, it's kind of hard to get them on since the ends are still so loose, but I just kind of usually fold it over and then put the bead on. And then go like that. But uh, that was a bead that broke off of a, um, a uh, bracelet my friend had made me. So I actually need to go out and like get some more beads um, to put throughout my hair. But um, yeah, there's like all sorts of loose hairs like in the front here, like where my forehead is, and then like on my sideburn area, which is getting kind of annoying because it's all like right in front of my eyes and my face. And nine times out of ten, when I go to eat something, there's like a piece of hair or like a dread like in my mouth. Um, but it's not too bad. I know the top's looking like pretty messy right now and stuff, but these ones in the back, I don't know, I don't know like what's so different about these ones, but they're just like so tight, it's like crazy stairs. Um, so I like to kind of play with those ones like all day long, like with my hands, I'm just like, just like to feel how tight they are and stuff. The ones in the front are like the opposite, they're like, these like four in the front are like super loose, um, and then there's like thinner ones there's actually one on I think it's this side it's like I guess uh, I ran out of hair or something because of my undercut and one of the dreads was like made super super tiny yeah I can't find it right now I know it's there somewhere though um, but it's like really 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 tiny it's like not even a it's like barely even a dread it's like just like a strand of hair so that one's kind of kind of annoying um i think it's yeah here we go it's this one right here there's some hair stuck to it but it looks a little bit bigger on on the webcam but like honestly it's look at that look at the uh the end of it it's like it's super thin so that's like that's probably my um my least favorite one and the ones in the front are just kind of weak and because your bangs are just like that for some reason Mm, yeah, there's that eating the hair I was talking about. Um, yeah, I kind of keep them in a ponytail sometimes still at work, but I'm starting to like the way they look better. Well, I always liked the way they looked better when they were down, but um, I didn't know if they, you know, liked it so much at work, so I was wearing it in a ponytail for a while. But, um, I don't know. I really like them, so, um... So that's an update on that. Um, and then as I said, I'm getting Mario Galaxy tomorrow. Mario Galaxy 2. So um, It got a 10 from IGN. And like a 9 point something from Game Informer. So it's obviously going to be a good game. Um, and then other than like playing Mass Effect 2. Um, I've been checking out like a different game like every day this week. I took out like Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, played that for a while. And then I returned it and got uh, Mass Effect 2. Um, if we get a used copy of either Alan Wake or uh, Red Dead Redemption. I'll definitely check those out. Um, but, I don't know. I'm kind of... You know, I have my 360 and I like that. And I haven't touched my PS3 in ages, which is like... This is like the opposite of how things were like six months ago. I like was not touching a 360 and was like playing PS3 all the time. But then I sold all my PS3 games. Um, but... I. I tried playing my DS the other day, and like, I don't know, I just, I get really bored of it after a few minutes, so, I can't wait till E3, which, by the way, is in like, three weeks, I think, um, because, I mean, if there's any new systems coming out at all, like if Microsoft makes a handheld, or if, uh, you know, the 3DS is gonna be shown and stuff like that, I just can't wait to see what's coming, because I want new stuff, so. Um, but that's it. This video went way too long, so I'm going to see you guys later, uh, and that's it.